all right okay now let's talk about this one which of the following functions has a zero at three and has a graph in the xy plane with a vertical asymptote of two and whole of negative one sorry whole of x equal to one so first things first if it has a zero at x equal to three it means that it must have a factor of x minus three and since all the options are rational functions we must say we must conclude that x minus three must be present at the top of course, I don't see any x minus 3. Uh, I mean, I do see x minus 3 here, but it doesn't mean that the x minus 3 cannot be here because these are not factored. So we have to keep that in mind. We cannot just rule out a and b just because we don't see x many, any x minus 3 explicitly. Okay, all right. If you want to factorize uh, option a, the numerator, it will look like x minus 1 times x minus 3. And indeed, I have and x minus 3 and if you want to factorize uh, this one it will be x minus 2 times x minus 3 and indeed there is an x minus 3 over here so unfortunately just based on the root I cannot rule out any of that any of the option but the moment I see that there is a vertical asymptote of x equal to 2 this means that this vertical asymptote should be in the denominator and denominator only because the property of being a vertical asymptote is that should be that should have a degree that factor should have a degree more than the factor the same factor in the numerator so either the numerator should not have it entirely or even if it has it should have a lower degree now let's see which options first off have uh, uh, an x minus 2 at the bottom. So if we were to factorize this, this will become like x minus 1, x minus 3. And clearly this cannot be the answer because x minus 1, x minus 3 does not have x minus 2 anywhere. And at least I need an x minus, uh, x minus 2 uh, at the bottom. So this is not possible. Can it be this? Uh, x minus 1 times x minus 2 yes it can be this because there is an x minus 2 at the bottom and the numerator does not have any x minus 2 so it is a vertical asymptote uh, likewise this is x minus 1 times x minus 2 now this is interesting although it has an x minus 2 but remember that there is an x minus 2 also on the top which negates the the very definition of vertical asymptote because uh, either even if that factor is in both the denominator and the numerator uh, or in the denominator it should have a higher degree but clearly it's not a higher degree so x minus 2 is uh, or x equal to 2 is not a vertical asymptote in b and finally here i have x minus 1 times x minus 2 over here which is also a vertical asymptote at x equal to 2. So probable options are A and C. And finally, it has a whole at x equal to 1, which means that x minus 1 is a common factor of top as well as the bottom. That's the only way. Or x minus 1 at the top should have a greater degree. But we don't have to go till the greater degree because here we can clearly see that x minus 1 is a common factor on top and bottom. And in option C is just x minus 3 x minus 1 is not a common factor in the numerator and denominator so clearly by all this logic the correct option is option number a it was a little tricky but i hope it makes sense